And this is 15 May 2022 at NorCal Hobbies. Now, this is really fun. This is 17.5 Sportsman. Now, one of the things that you noticed there it was the pileup. Now, quick little thing. Uh, you're never going to win the race on the first lap. You can certainly lose it. So keep that in mind whenever you start. A lot of people want to start really fast, really strong. Uh, if you're, you know, the first two guys, uh, I can understand. Let's see how those two just piled up. Uh, but... If you're toward the back of the pack, sometimes you're better off just taking it easy, seeing what other cars do, and then driving around the chaos and mayhem. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Now, a uh, quick little note. Uh, this is an X-Ray X4 chassis that I'm driving. Uh, this is the very first day that I drive this chassis uh, at, in Sportsman. It's the very first day. So this is the third race. This is the actual A main. So it's Qualifier 1, Qualifier 2. This is the A main. Uh, this is the stock setup out of the box uh, with uh, two degrees of camber all around. And this car is surprisingly easy to drive. And uh, I look forward to actually getting some more track time and just getting used to the vehicle. I'm not going to do any extra tuning on the vehicle. I just need to get used to it. The very first race was horrible. Second race was not the best and this one not too bad uh, I could do a lot better if I practice but I definitely do like this a lot more than my uh, Yokomo BD10 uh, by a long shot uh, the cars are night and day really when it comes to just the ease of driving and the quality oh my god the craftsmanship on this car is amazing it truly is a luxury chassis now, there are a few mistakes that I make here, as you can see. Uh, it's pretty obvious. Now, quick little thing, uh, the motor that I'm running, I am running an X-Factor 17.5. Uh, the FDR, final drive ratio, is a 372. So I'm running a 92 spur with a 47 uh, pinion gear. And the motor is generally around... 66 degrees roughly 66 67 so 154 somewhere around there uh 153 that's the temperature uh the ambient temperature this day was about 24 25 degrees so 76 fahrenheit roughly and that's how it's running now uh the, I mean, those are small mistakes that add up. So, yes, I am making mistakes, getting used to the chassis. Uh, but to be honest, I, I like it a lot. Uh, so if you're brand new to the sport, uh, I, I recommend that you buy something inexpensive, get into it, and then see if you like it, and then invest in something that's higher end. Now, if you just want to go all out and spend on something high end, I really like X-Ray. And uh, see right there where I'm turning, if you, that part of the wall that's kind of sticking out, so there's the dot and then it's pointing to the right. On the very first race, I actually, I, I broke the car. I broke one of the knuckles. Uh, the uh, ball stud stripped out, uh, so I didn't really crack it. It just stripped out. But I hit that thing so many times because uh, I was trying to get used to that sweeper and then going faster and faster and then I would overdo it or I would uh, maybe not power out as much or I would enter it too fast instead of uh, slowing down before entering and then powering out that I would actually jump over the apex because the, the rear would just sort of start passing the front. Uh, that I hit that thing dead on multiple times. Uh, to be honest, had it been any of the other chassis that I've driven here, I, I would have broken arms, I would have broken the uh, caster blocks, I would have broken the knuckles uh, with the BD-10, that was something. It was usually a two-for-one on the caster block and the knuckle, or the C-hub uh, and the knuckle. Uh, this one, I only broke one thing, so definitely more durable. 
not something to brag about really if you're crashing that hard you should slow down learn how to drive first then learn how to go fast uh, but I am very happy now there is one thing to note uh, always shop about for spare parts uh, arms uh, they're just over twenty dollars each arm and you're looking at four for just the front right there's a lower and an upper uh, the hubs themselves they're about ten eleven dollars uh, for the little hub that got stripped uh, but other than that it's a fabulous vehicle thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you have not and I'll catch you in the next one my, my hair! My car! My, my rod!